Hello everyone. So I'm Mithul Golakia from Infium Labs and in this video we are going to see how you can configure your email credentials into any Laravel app. So if you have purchased one of our products from this list, you can use this video to configure your email credentials into one of our product. So let's get started. So what I have done is I have just installed one of our fresh product of NPChat into cPanel server and now what I want to do I want to update this file dot env file with the email credentials so you can so I can use or I can send emails to the users on various occasions like user registration or if you have purchased project management system then you know whenever any task is assigned to any user or whenever any update is there on the task user get notified via email so let's first see what we have into this file at the moment so if you see this mail section into dot env file then right now it is configured with uh, dummy mail trap io credentials so you can use mail trap for development purposes where you don't want to send real emails but if you are deploying any script in the production then you need to have a real email credentials so in this demo video what we are going to do is we are going to create one new email user account from the cpanel server and then we will get the credentials we will that we will set over here so i have access to my cpanel over here and if you see we have this email account section so i will go over there and i will create on click and over here i need to create one new user account so for this particular thing i will say like chat demo at the red infium.com and i need to generate a password so i can click on and i can generate on any random password i will recommend you choose some random uh, strong password rather than you know dummy any one two three or thing so i have generated my password uh, which I will keep uh, or I will save somewhere let me do it for a moment so I have just copied it to one of my another window uh, yeah and then all I need to do is like create there are other various settings that you can do optionally like size and everything but you can update that as per your need so I'm just creating a new chat demo account let's verify if it is properly created yeah so this is our email password we have already done now what you need to do is so what we got so far is we got the email from address email from name that we can put anything mail username that will be ideally our email only mail password that we have already generated now what we need to get is mail host so how you can get it is Sorry, some options were changed in cPanel, but yeah, you need to click on check email. Probably if you are using the same server, you should be able to get it. So you should be able to redirect it to something like this screen. And if I scroll down a little bit, I will get like configure mail client option. There are, very, there are various other ways you can get that, but this is the most common way. So I will click on configure mail client. And if you see, I get my username, password we already have so for outgoing server we will be sending the email we are not receiving the email so for sending the email we need to use outgoing server and there are two settings one is secure ssl and one is non ssl but secure ssl is recommended so this is our mail server so now what i will do i will click on edit and i will edit this file now i will start my configuration mail mailer we will still keep smtp since we are going to use smtp and uh, if you see here there is smtp port now what i will do i will co copy the first value which is mail host and if you see our mail host is uh, mail.infium.com so i will go there i will copy mail host port we will update with 465 hopefully that is the correct one yeah 465 and then the third thing is mail username so if you see our username is chat demo at the red uh, so this is mail username mail password which i have copied before few minutes so this is mail password and remember that 
if you have special characters in your password then you should quote your password into double quotes you should surround your password into double quotes otherwise sometimes it may create a problem so for encryption you can insert ssl or you may also try uh, you know like tls as well if you feel that it is not working then uh, you need to try tsl sorry tls once so uh, yeah so if conf after configuring this if you are still getting problem you should try tls option over here i also need space in the value so i will say chat demo and i will also surround it with double quotes and yeah i think that should be enough don't worry i will just delete this account after this video creation so this password will not work but yeah so this is what you need to configure for you know get your emails working and then i will just hit save so my file is now saved and then hopefully you should try with you know various option and it should work yeah and if still you are facing any problem then you can always uh, reach out to us on support you can find our support link on our profile or also on the products that you have purchased so you can contact us on support yeah thank you